It's time for a prison break. Only shooting stars break the mold. Hello, everybody, and welcome to a bonus episode of Brawl Stars featuring Brutaclad. Yes, lots of bees happening here. This is a game that was actually recorded as part of the actual Brawl Stars episode, but it didn't quite make it into the video, not because it's not good, but because it's an hour long. So this video is a separate showcase of Brutaclad breaking out of prison against Gideon. Uh, this was a match that was so powerful that it crashed Arena multiple times for both me and my opponent. I know this because they came into my chat to be like, hey, um, sorry I'm not doing anything in the game. The client stopped responding because in fact, it didn't work so much. So a uh, shout out to Frozen Leaf for sticking it out with their deck against my deck. So let me quickly introduce this. If you didn't see the other episode, Root of Plan's all about transforming tokens. We make lots of tokens and then we transform them into whatever the coolest, biggest thing we have. Uh, for example, you can make copies, token copies of your dragons, your ancient copper or your gold span dragons using Sahili or Dull House of Horrors. You can make Karns Karnstrucks, which get bigger with the number you have. There's all sorts of great big tokens on their own too, like the Kraken, the 8-8 Kraken. We've also got just tons of little things which can swarm in and get damage. But it doesn't matter how much damage you're doing if you can't deal damage at all, which is what happens in this video. And you're going to see how this deck navigates through such a prison. Also, I want to say this deck is super duper fun and I will highly recommend that you try playing it. Uh, if you'd like to make it a bit more powerful, you can focus less on going wild on tokens and a bit more on protecting yourself and protecting your game plan, throw in some more counter spells. I really like it here as this kind of like tempo combo aggro. One two punch can be really fun, but I know that's not everybody's cup of tea. So we're gonna take a Brutaclad into battle against Gideon. Let's go. Gideon of the Trials. I'm going to want things that I can use to hit Planeswalkers. These don't do that. This is enough land. This is a way to counter, clone, everything else. Let's go. Gideon of the Trials is oftentimes the helm of oops, all Gideons, but it doesn't look like doesn't look like there's that many Gideons in Arena, so I'm going to have to see how this turns out. Is it going to be a mono-white prison deck that locks you out of the game by making an indestructible Gideon and giving itself this uh, beautiful emblem as, as long as you control a Gideon Planeswalker, you can't lose the game and your opponent can't win? Oh, deification! That's exactly what they're doing. They are working on making the Wombo Combo, the Turbo Gideon Ultimate Ability. That's kind of the exact start that they're going to want to have. So we could hold open this tail's end to stop the Gideon. It gives their Planeswalkers hexproof. They're just passing back to me. I'm just going to pass back to them. They didn't get a third land, probably because they had this amazing combo of cards. Moonblessed Cleric. Very cool. Going to get themselves uh, perhaps another lockout card. Cute get rog, man. Cute get rog. Young Pyromancer. They have nine lives on top. So they're also doing the nine lives uh, solemnity stuff. Until they get solemnity out, though, uh, we might be able to kill them just through tons and tons of triggers. That's a hope. I'm going to quasi duplicate my young Pyromancer make two young pyromancers one of which is a token they said nice thanks idyllic tutor you know what they're tutoring for solemnity my god they found it is there anything i can do against the solemnity nine lives unfortunately neither of them can be hit by the tail's end so I think what we need to do is use Invasion of Mercadia. Try and find something else. We're going to drop... Oh, I'm going to go with Krenko. Hmm. Not quite what I crave.
we might be able to remove it using cards from their deck. That's, I think, my uh, my best bet there. Ooh. Do we have anything that can get through that? We might. Shame I can't just kill them before that even happens. We can find our River's Rebuke. If they play an Exiling Enchantment, might be able to clone it, hit that. Get down Kingula's Kindling. It's not going to deal any damage. They're not going to get any counters. We're just gonna vibe, we're gonna chill, we're gonna hang. I don't have Stomp in this deck, so I can't prevent damage prevention. Well, what you doing with that Schnorr? Is there a stomp on here? That'd be awesome if we had a, a little bit of bone crusher. I'm seeing wildfire. Helps me dig deeper into my deck. A little bit of burn. Well, I'll do some cleansing wildfire. Yes, I would like to destroy my own. Grab myself a basic, and draw a card. Hey, Reticus, this is Vile Duplication. You're fun! And we pass right back. White Sun's Twilight, they want to do a big old board wipe. Unfortunately, if I see double this, Theirs will actually resolve before my can, mine can, which is a little, little awkward there. Crackle, a braid, siege gang commander. Only y'all's with artifacts. Behold, this. Fateful Absence on the Goblini. Because I could sacrifice it. I'd rather have the card, though. Fall of the Thran, huh? We destroying all lands? You gonna exile my graveyard, too? Spicy. That's a wild card. Lightning Bolt, some of this. Oh, these can't get counters. So, no, the lands don't get blown up. Because the Thran can't fall. Sure, I'll blow up one of your lands, though. Seems to be what you want. They shut off their own saga with Solemnity. What do we do? We vibe! This won't get counters either. Surprise, surprise. If you can find any of our big old bouncy things, that'd be pretty spicy. Get out of here, Gideon. They can play Gideon again in a turn. This is fine. You want to attack in? Ooh, we are trading. Goblins for mites. I can't get poison counters because of Solemnity. And we have a big score! I'm gonna drop this Gleeful Demolition. The invasion of Segovia, very cute. What do we get off? Kayla's Kindling. Electro Dominance, Seasoned Pyromancer, and Young Pyromancer. We're gonna go for Seasoned Pyromancer since it lets me filter my hand the most. <laughs> Great.
great. <laughs> Season Pyromancer, come on out. As fun as Invasion of Segovia is, I'm not sure if that's actually what I want right now. Same with Renicus's Vile Duplication. I'm going to drop that in the land. Miss Syndicate Naga, also not what I crave. Play this, Invasion of Segovia. Noted that they can animate this, they can't animate that. Gives me a couple little one ones. Oh, what a sweet little baby. Not going to swing in with Den of the Bugga Bugs. God Pharaoh's statue. I kind of want a God Pharaoh statue too, actually. Did you know that life loss gets around this? It's not damage. It's life loss. They're different. They'd still have to get this Gideon down. Afraid. Electrodominance lightning bolt. Well, we'll hit theirs. I don't get I don't get this, no. Hello, cute monkey. Since I'm not dealing damage, that doesn't help. I just want to do X equals one, since bouncing something doesn't actually make much of a difference here. Just scrying and drawing a card. Table of the Mirror Breaker gives me a lot more filter than anything else. I will take it, and I will play it. I believe that them getting down Gideon could still be game, though. All oh, right, the Solemnity means this won't happen. I keep forgetting about how sagas interact with this. It's kind of like Vorin Klexen sagas. It's not what I'm always thinking about. Untap, 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 untap. Yeah, get wrecked. 30 more turns and you'll be dead. Cavalier of Dawn. Ooh, will they blow this up? Will they blow up my kindling? Nope, they're blowing up the God Pharaoh statue that they gave me. I'll, I'll remind you. Seasoned Pyromancer again, a braid. Retrofitter Foundry just makes me some big boys. We're going to drop Mist Syndicate Naga and Ragavan. Need to find the big bouncies. Where do you want to come out? I mean, it's kind of cute. Pay the one. I'm gonna, I don't know, make a servo. Yay. I love servos. Look, it's just a little guy. Gideon of the Trials. Gideon has hexproof. And also is going to say no game losing. Ooh, Cavalier of Dawn swings in. I don't want them bringing back anything from their graveyard, so I'm actually going to block with the servo. Untap my retrofitter foundry. Sacrifice the servo to make a thopter. Okay, wait, I misclicked. We can use one of our treasures here. I gotta select the lower one. There we go. Sacrifice the servo. Perfect. More little guys. Make a thopter. We have things happening. Enter snipe. Bean fire. No. I do have some mana. How much mana do I have with you, Cadus, doing work? Alright, we have 12, 13, 
14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. It doesn't kill them yet. But if we get another one, maybe it will. That's a six. Nice shot. I'll have to take out Gideon. But um, I, I bet we'll find a way to bounce him or do something else. This gives me something for this turn. My cat just came in and gave me such a yell. She went, me! Hi, baby. What's up? Oh, a toy? You brought me a little brown rattle ball? A might stone and weak stone. You're gonna destroy Cadus. No, wait, they're gonna draw two cards. They're probably gonna try to uh, lock me out even further. Okay, you want to play girl? cat woke me up in the middle of the night. Goodbye, Cadus. You were fun. I will block with this elemental. And I will also turn a thopter into a slopter. It's like, please don't call me that. Destroying a land, you say? Why? I'd love to. Yeah, deification means that uh, damage dealt will still make it a little hard. A little hard to get rid of Mr. Gids. We're glad. Do you want to just, like, turn everything into Funky Chunky Boys? Would you like to sacrifice and draw a card? Good girl, did you bring the toy back? I see you. Where's the toy? Where's the toy? Where's the toy, little cat? Yeah, I know, you're so sweet. Yeah, you wanna come up here? Uh, everybody turn into 4-4s. Four here, let me show you what happens when we yeet ourselves at Mr. Gids. Chef, here, if you come up here, I'm gonna give you a treat. Cause you'll get to be in the video. They're like, I guess. Yes, you do guess. Die, Gideon. Bring it on. If he's still at just that one. <laughs> We're to copy seasoned pyromancer. I'd love to save this for something cooler, but it's what I've got, so it's what I'll do. Jess, you are purring up a storm, aren't you? Growing grass for her to snack on. Yeah, you want some? You gotta come up on the desk. Oh, it's Ella Schnorn. Aren't I glad I made everything into four fours? I'm sorry, they're two twos now. Yum, yum, yum. Yum, yum, yum. Scrap says yum, 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 yum. Um, I guess I'll just take some damage. Why not? Oh, you're such a good girl. Ooh, you're such a good girl. Ah! We found another Bane Fire, which can get their life total to zero. Though we still don't win the game. They said nice. Like, yeah, I guess. 
I guess it's nice. Bring your life total very low. I kind of like killing Elish Norn here too. Um, Elish Norn is just kind of frustrating since we make so many tokens that would otherwise die. So we're going to take out Elish Norn. Yes, I pay the three. Girl, you're so sweet. Yes, you are. I don't have quite enough for that. Have a Sahili. Oh, you're so nice. You love grass so much. You are such a good gerblet. Look at us. We're four fours. Yay, four fours. I want Cadus back. Cadus was fun. Do you like it when this game happens? Are you a big fan of weird stuff? Here comes Cadus. We'll uh, untap some of our constructs. What a nice butt. Oh, hi, Ugin, who can't be F. You want to destroy my Kayla's kindling? Because that would be hard for me. Ah, they didn't. Thanks for the tail in the face. I love that for you. Oh, hi, Gideon. You want to wipe the board or something? Oh, you're so stinky. Oh, you're so stinky. What a good stinky girl she is. Spell swindle for whatever they try to cast. They wouldn't dare. You want to see something fun now? Of course you do. Goldspan dragon. You know who should be a goldspan dragon? One of these. Do I have your attention now? You know who else should be a goldspan dragon? All my tokens. Let's make some treasures. Boop, 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 boop. Um, I'm actually going to swing one of them at Gideon, because we can. We untap enough for blocking. We have our counter spell. We're ready to rumble. The game continues on, but now Amy is full of treasures! Delicious, delectable, wonderful treasure, Which I can use to make more thopters. And my cat can say, oh boy, enough thopters. Uh, something, something, something. Die, Ugin. You guys think I killed Ugin enough? No? Should have done more. You're so right. Trying to pay attention to their lands, too. Prevent all damage that would be dealt by Brudeclad. Sure. Sacrifice your land to find a mystery card. El Elspeth Resplendent. Top seven cards gets a permanent. What permanent do you find? It's Azur's Gateway! They're gonna try and flip that over, I suspect. Turn by turn, they'll get closer and closer. Hey. We will make a servo. I can block with said said servo. Untap this. Sacrifice it. I don't actually need to sacrifice it. I'll just make another servo. We got servos to spare. And tokens for days. The ring does not get a counter. Hard evidence! Behold my crab! 
They're like, hmm, do you pay the one? Yeah, I, I pay the one. I have mana. It's everything else I don't have. We're gonna crack open this clue. I could transform things into clues, but that feels like I might die. So we're not gonna do it. This does not get counters as we established before. I'm gonna make another servo. Everything, keep being gold span dragons. This is great. I love all these gold span dragons. I like how many treasures I just made out of them. Go to attacks. And uh, 10 of you attack Elspeth, and uh, 4 of you attack Gideon. Feel like this is an adequate amount of mana and everything else. It says that counters can't be put on enchantment, so I think even if I read ahead, it shouldn't work. We have all the mana we could ever want, which means we can make as many Thopters as we want, but it doesn't actually make a difference. We just need to find the big bouncies. I miss when the cat was here. Those were good times. Those were good times. I don't actually think I have River's Rebuke in this stack, but I do have some other cards that I think could help out. Eventually. We just have to find them. The game's starting to lag. Oh gosh, the game is starting to lag. Bird best of Sea God, Sublime Epiphany. Things that let me bounce, things that let me steal. Yeah, if we bounce the Solemnity, we can absolutely get enough for this. But they won't be able to lose the game so long as Gideon is out. So we'd have to hit probably Deification. And then find another way. They'd be able to play this again. We've got Ugin to destroy a colored permanent. We have ways. We have ways. You're gonna stop my OG gold span dragon from dealing damage. Temporal Pilgrim, we draw lots of cards. We do the thing. Let's see what got put under here. First the planes, then. Another planes. Oh, how spicy. That's never gonna flip like that. Ah, the invasion of Gobacon! Um, yeah, sure. Uh, listen, I can afford to pay either of these. I actually think that they should exile Elder Dragon War so I can't discard it. And that's exactly what they did. Attackers! Attactivate! Oh no, not my invasion of Gobacon. I'm gonna I'm gonna block the gold span dragon. Right now, by the way, the uh, artifacts and enchantments that they can bring back. They've got the God Pharaoh's statue, which does kill me over time. At what point do we just crash the game by attacking with 250 tokens? That's a loss for everyone. It's my move. It gets no counters. I got all those lands holding priority. Ugin, my beloved! Oh, would you like to destroy some enchantments? Gosh, I, I feel like you would. Do I want to get rid of deification? 
make it so this Gideon is so much more vulnerable? Sounds pretty good. They're saying, nice. Thanks. Let's start with the deification. Now we can actually kill Gideon. Next up, setting the life total to zero. We'll get there. Uh, would I like to turn everybody into gold span dragons? I'm actually going to say no. I'm going to decline. Because <laughs> I do think that the game is getting a little, um, let's say taxed. The Wandering Emperor. Uh, okay. Sure. Hi. Anyone who harms my people must contend with me. We will go to attacks. Let's go with the uh, 10 gold spins over here. And uh, another four over here. Now, every time Gideon comes out, I'll be able to kill him. By the way, one of the reasons not to hit the Solemnity there is then the counters start, uh, start ticking in on Sagas. I don't know about you, but like, as much as I love treasures, it feels like it might get awkward. Hey, girl. What's going on? You being a boodle stink? Now you can keep replaying that Gideon, and I'll keep attacking it. Um, Frozen Leaf? Frozen Leaf? I mean, I have to wait a few turns to get Gideon back up to loyalty, but, um... What's going on? Game crash? My game didn't crash. See, I'm still in it. I can hover over the cards. I can close them. I can open them. They're roping. And they have many ropes to go through. So I guess we'll just sit here and wait while our opponent, uh, defrosts. We can try restarting the game, too. Here, let's see. Just in case, it's a stealth crash. We'll get back into the game, and it will be like, Hey, you made too many tokens. Like, thanks, I'm a Brutoclad deck, I do that. Waiting for opponent. It's possible our opponent's not connected either. Wow, that was a cacophony. Are we in? Neither of us burned any ropes. Would you like to exile one of my gold span dragons? It'll increase your life total. No. Oh, look, they're doing something. They're making a samurai. The game is struggling. The game says, please kill me. 
This game says, I was not meant for this many, this many effects to all be in at the same time. Great. Gideon died. He'll be back. Don't worry, but I'll be able to kill him over and over and over again. Oh, the joy. Well, they already used two uh, tutors. I'm wondering if they do have any way to get this back from the graveyard. Probably, other than just Cavalier of Dawn. I didn't burn through any timers. They didn't burn through any timers. The game just straight up was like, I don't know what's happening. Eternal Wander almost certainly in the deck. But we have a counter spell. We Gucci. We Gucci. Uh, sure. One. You know what? I'm just going to submit zero. The, the game is suffering enough as it is. I like how because my game has been restarted, we have the Johnny avatar, we have no emotes. And because I guess my opponent wanted to communicate with me for lack of emotes, uh, they actually joined my chat on Twitch. So, hi, Frozen Leaf. You get out of here! My computer's more powerful than yours! This is now a game of attrition! Also, remember, if you're playing Brawl against me, don't come into my chat room. That's not cool. Let this be a fair, furious battle between friends. They draw, they discard. Or I should say they exile. The card goes underneath Azor's Gateway. Azor's Gateway, by the way, just gives them a big mana sink. Loads of mana. Currently, all game knowledge is known. Hey, as for Sentinel. Hey, Samurai. Cavalier. Basil Saven. Mute Vault. They dropped Redan slash Valkmira. I suppose I'm able to pay through the taxes of either of those since we have 28 treasures, which each... I like how it has 24 of the same replacement ability. Oh, Elishmorn, Mother of Machines. So this stops enter the battlefield effects for me, which I don't actually think is going to make a difference here since the thing we want is Ugin. We do have some ETBs, but this is not needing a counter. The game is really, really struggling here. Is it me this time? I don't think it is. I'm trying to decide. Do you attack? I mean, attacking, it doesn't change anything. It's my turn!
If we had a flyer other than Gold Span Dragon, I think I'd turn it into it, since each of these tokens having 24 of the same replacement effect, I think might be the cause of part of this lag. All right, so we have Ugin. Ugin, we just got to tick him up to three and get rid of this. We're probably going to tick him up to four to be safe because I don't trust like that, but it's going to depend on if they have cards in hand. Ah, a land. How completely useless. We get a spirit token. It exiles the top card of my library. Okay. Yep, you, you sure did float a snow mana for some reason. You good? I can't, I can't emote, but I don't know why they're doing this. For anybody wondering, why not change the gold spans into something else? I want to make sure I have a lot of large flyers. Uh, the spirit just has a land under it, so uh, we're going to go to combat and we're going to do nothing. We passed the turn. Also, I see I just got a new subscription in my channel. Thank you, Geek Girl Grace, for the sub. We pass, we're going to decline, and we're not going to attack at all since we do not need any resources here. And it's fine for these to be whatever they want to be. Truly a struggle. Gotta keep waiting. Keep hanging. Keep having a good time. Come on, Frozen Leaf. Make that toaster glow! We do have to make sure that our things are both flyers and greater than two twos, just in case that Elish Norn comes back, they don't die. Elspeth Conquer's death currently doesn't do anything because of Solemnity shutting off sagas. It's just a matter of time. We're just waiting. Our Ugin currently at two loyalty. prison deck. They can't handle its own effects. They draw. They exile. We'll see what gets exiled here. My dragons are ready. They drop the land, so it could be anything in hand. It is a mystery. At least we have adorable music to help tide us over during this slog of a battle. Trust me, I'm slogging. I like that these are, by the way, artifact creatures. Oh, okay, they're QQing 
to get it to auto pass. They're saying, I don't have anything. I just want the game to stop. Good. I appreciate that. If they're doing that, we can also crack some of these treasures. I'll say it's a show of solidarity. Ideally, we actually want to have as much mana as possible to use the Retrofitter Foundry. Pass through tackers. Ah, Arena, a stable, reliant client. You know, we actually have a quote from the Arena development team. This is from an old Arena statement they made. Again, we want to stress that improving our game's performance and overall stability is our highest priority right now and will continue to be our highest priority until we get the needed results. Quote, the Arena devs, who didn't expect me to make this many Goldspan Dragons. Yes. The words we care about, the words we crave, the results they needed. So exciting. Yeah, th their game... By the way, my client is actually passing priority very, very smoothly here. I believe it's just theirs. <laughs> the old Brutaclash. We can see if we can sacrifice some of these treasures just to um, speed things up. Oh, I'm roping now? I am? I guess I am? I'll try restarting the game again. It looked like things were running pretty smoothly for me. But maybe that's just Arena. All right, we're going to rejoin. Isn't this an unusual game? Yeah, usually we keep these ones uh, to ourselves. I was doing the skip, shift, turn, skip, turn button all the dang time. Yeah, our opponent isn't replaying Gideon because they know I can just attack and kill Gideon now. I can remove his final uh, loyalty counters since they do not have deification. It's just a matter of getting rid of the other things. By the way, volume warning, there's going to be a cacophonous boom. We'll see how long this takes. Joining match. If I join back and it says draw, I'm going to be mad. That used to happen with my life gain decks when I made too many angels. Oh, the struggle. Ooh, I, th I think it's having a struggle. A struggle, a real one. All right, let's try again. Currently waiting. Okay, so I think this time it's loading in correctly. Timeout used. Okay, so it did say that I have the timeout here. We plus. Burning through my timers. I plused. I did everything I can. I think Arena is finally given up. Look at this. It's not even going. We'll restart it again. Keep it up. We must reign supreme. Arena, you will be the downfall. Ready? I am ready. Every time I take an action, we'll have to restart. Let me see if I can sacrifice some treasure. It actually didn't seem to give me much option. All right. So we're going to sacrifice add blue. Does it work? Or does that also count as it just, it can't. It can't. Oh my gosh. The game straight up having a struggle. I can tell you, my computer is mechanically doing absolutely fine right now. I'm trying to use these up to get rid of some of these things that have all of these abilities in them. You know what? We might also just go pass into combat and say, fine, you know what? Brutaclad, 
turn everything into something slightly more on the ground. Just to get rid of these treasure these treasure triggers. Okay, everybody become the 2-1. Let's see if that fixes it. Is it good? Did we fix it? It was the treasures! It was the treasures! The game couldn't handle the treasures! Alright, so if there's a thing that's going to get through us because now we have two small creatures, or because there's flying, or we don't have the treasures, that's fine. We accept this as a toll of trying to get this game to work. Yeah, I, I, I have, like, a monitor. I can even look at Task Manager, and I'll tell you right now, Arena's actually only using about 23% of uh, GPU and about 8% of our CPU. Memory, not doing too bad. It's actually using only, like, a gig. It's doing fine. Hostess with the mostest. Oh, how I crave it. Do we risk it? For the biscuits. Do we go for it? Or do we just not trust our opponent? The fairies protection. Swindle! Please don't give me treasures. Yes, I pay the one. Finally! Victory! Thank you so much for watching this bonus Brawl Stars! As always, if you'd like to watch me record these live, you should come over to twitch.tv slash Amazonian where I play magic every single day. Do I have a problem? No. I didn't spend like seven hours drafting in a crazed mind swirl of five color goodness. Except I did, because March of the Machines is just like that, and sometimes you just want to play five color decks over and over and over and over and over. Also, I play a lot of Brawl on stream. It's super duper fun. You should come on by, say hi, and have a brawlful day.